What's going on guys? It is another beautiful day here in sunny Southern California. We are in Wildwood, an all age manufactured housing community. This is a beautiful manufactured housing community that's terraced and homes have beautiful views. Right now we are about to tour a brand new champion AF2452 approximately 1250 square feet this is a split open floor plan three bedrooms two bathrooms you're gonna love it make sure you stick it out to the end to see the master bathroom with a walk-in closet and his and her sink this home has great curb appeal we added masonry skirting lap siding and check out these eyebrows with columns. Not all homes have them. If you're interested in learning more about features and options you can choose when designing your own manufactured home, make sure you leave a comment or call us at 866-720-2207. We tour brand new manufactured homes on a weekly basis. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Let's go take a look at this beautiful champion AF2452. This is one of my favorite locations in the home. This is a Trex deck. This is a factory built Trex deck made with a sustainable and durable material and it has low maintenance. This is the perfect location for you to, if you have any children, they can come out here, play, and they'll be right by. If you don't have any children, then you could always set up some chairs or have a barbecue on the side and really take advantage of this Trex deck here. I really love these open floor plans. This flooring is beautiful. These are waterproof planks in case you have kids that spill water and dump their glass over. It's not going to absorb that water. It's, you're gonna be able to clean it right up. And right here with the door placement, you could put your sofa here and on this wall is where your large flat screen TV would go. So these one thing that's different about this home that I noticed right when I walked in is the cathedral ceilings. Cathedral ceilings are your standard ceilings. We typically up option in the nine foot flat ceilings, but I personally prefer these cathedral ceilings. I feel it makes everything feel a little bit bigger. You do have your side walls that are a little bit lower, but in the center of the home, because of the cathedral ceilings, it feels like you have more space. And right here, check out this area for a large dining room table. Most floor plans have a smaller dining area, but this area, you can fit a table that will seat eight to 12 people. And now take a look at this kitchen island with the pennant lights. You do have a couple different options for pennant lights. We, we chose the brush nickel for these pennant lights. You can get black pennant lights and they do have a couple different styles. So tell us what you think in the comment section of these pennant lights. What are your favorite pennant lights? And you also have options for kitchen islands. This is more like a, a chop block where you would prep all your food for dinner. You can add a breakfast bar. You can even on the end over here, sometimes you can add a wine rack. Again, we love hearing what, what you prefer. What is your favorite kitchen island? These are your standard countertops, laminate countertops. We added the tile backsplash. Again, you have several different options of colors and styles of backsplash. If you like mosaic glass tile, we do have those options. A stainless, a stainless steel, two cell sink with a single lever faucet. And then we have this sprayer over here on the side. A lot of people like those farmhouse sinks. In this kitchen, we did upgrade to the stainless steel appliances. 
Stainless steel appliances are still our customer's favorite option. You can choose from white, black, and stainless steel. You can even omit the kitchen appliances if you'd like to get your own. We have plenty of storage. Look at all this cabinet space. There's even plenty of cabinet, there's, there's even cabinet space here in the kitchen island. We have three banks of drawers. And there's the cabinet. So again, this is their standard size kitchen island. You can get a kitchen island that's much larger or they even have one that's about half that size. Going back to the cathedral ceilings, do you prefer cathedral ceilings or nine foot flat? If you forget what a nine foot flat ceiling looks like, go back to one of our previous home tours and take a look. Stepping back here, we do we added all of the can lighting. Those are LED lights which are energy efficient. We're going to end this tour in the utility room. This is a very large nice utility room. You're not going to want to miss it. Now let's go into the second and third bedrooms over here to the right. This door over here on the right is a coat closet. So this is your standard coat closet. If you're designing your own home, you can omit that coat closet and you'd have more wall space. And you'll see over here on the bedroom on the right, bedroom number three, this room is very spacious. You can easily fit a king size bed with two nightstands. And right here, we have these mirror wardrobe sliding glass doors. So if you eliminated the coat closet in the living room, then you'd be able to extend this closet so that it would take up this whole wall. And you'd have much, a lot more closet space. Now over here is the second bedroom. This bedroom's a little bit more cozy, but you can easily fit a queen size bed and nightstands. You could also fit a dresser in there. And over here, would you, here is what a box, the box bay on the exterior. Look at how it kind of opens up the interior a little bit. You have another about four to six inches of room. So it does make the room a little bit more spacious. It's, it opens it up. Now this is your standard guest bathroom. Oh, let's go up to the top over here. Remember, always option in that window. It brings in more natural light. It also allows you to, you can open the window and it allows more air and lets all the steam out, lets all the steam out when you're showering. Can I like to, oh. We also, we always, there's two things we always add in the bathrooms, a can light over the shower and a window over the shower. So if you're ordering a new custom manufactured home, don't forget to add those two things. If you don't have the can light, then the shower can be a little bit dark. Oh, I think we talked about that earlier. Really gotcha, fine. gotcha. You could just show it. Yeah, then you're good. Uh, nothing really about the man. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. You're going to make this video good. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to go into the master bedroom. This master bedroom is very large. This is an excellent master bedroom. Did I say bathroom? No. This is, an ex this is a very spacious master bedroom. Again, you can easily fit dressers, two nightstands. You can even put a chair with a king size bed. And right in front of us here is the walk in closet. Our customers love having a walk in closet whenever they can. Whenever we could add more storage, whether it's cabinet space or closet space, we always try to option that in. 
Now over here, this is a Stephanie's favorite part of the house. She loves this walk-in shower with his and her sink, and there's plenty of cabinet space. And take a look at those pennant lights. Again, for the bathrooms on the pen, on the, I'm sorry, and take a look at the bathroom vanities. You do have a couple different options to choose from for the lighting of your vanities in the bathroom. All right, last but not least, we're gonna be taking you into this utility room and then we're gonna show you the carport and shed. So right here, this is a very large utility room. You have room for a side-by-side -side washer and dryer. We have the hanging rack and the shelving up top. And take a look at this door. I love this door with the windows. What would you call, what style of door would you call this? And now here, look at, this is something that's unusual. You have room for at least three cars, depending on the size. And over here behind us, we have this large shed. So this shed is included in the home. You can purchase this home in place for $279,900. This is a great deal. Other homes have sold closer to $300,000 in this community. So thank you for watching this edition to the Manufactured Housing Expert. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified when we premiere new videos. We also appreciate all the love you can give by hitting that like button. See you next week.